Hi Taurus, this is going to be a general love reading for August 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is general, so that means it's not going to resonate for all of you. But of course you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading with me. And also the roles can be reversed because it is a general reading. Alright, so let's see, what is the overall energy for Taurus? for the first half of August, and we have Barrier, okay. So it could be that you or someone else that you're dealing with is feeling really blocked at the moment or feeling like there is some kind of a barrier um, within the connection, something that is keeping you from being able to proceed or to progress in this connection, all right? So let's get into it and see. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first half of August. It almost feels like someone is just kind of um, keeping the door closed, not allowing themselves to open up that door. Let's see. All right, so Taurus, for the situation, we have the Ace of Cups crossed by the Page of Cups. Okay, wow, all right, so whatever's going on here, there's definitely a lot of love. This is definitely a connection where I feel like both parties are feeling the emotions. Um, what seems to be blocked here is actually expressing those emotions, all right? Definitely a lot of feelings, uh, strong feelings also. Um, just there is some kind of a hesitation when it comes to expressing them. For the recent past, we have the Nine of Cups. Near future, we have the Eight of Wands. For your energy, we have the Two of Swords. For them, we have the Seven of Pentacles. More about you is the Queen of Wands. For them, the Magician. And the potential outcome here is the High Priestess. Okay, so we are going to clarify these and get more details, but what I am seeing here is that, yeah, it feels like you are the one, and again, roles can be reversed, but what I'm getting here is that it appears that you are the one who is kind of not really sure about this connection or just not really willing to open up. I feel like you're either having a dilemma or you're just feeling like you just don't know how to open that door or how to proceed. But it's interesting because we also have the Queen of Wands for you here, which is telling me that you are working on finding your assertiveness or finding your confidence when it comes to figuring out what it is that you should do. So it could, it doesn't necessarily mean that you want to move towards this connection, but that's just what I'm getting here, that it feels like communication is blocked. Um, for them, the Seven of Pentacles and the Magician, I feel like this person is waiting. This person might have done little things here and there, trying to move things in a certain direction, trying to put things into place, trying to make something work. And I feel like they're still kind of waiting here to get some kind of a result. Um, but again, it feels like this person is actually manifesting something here within this connection. I definitely see communication coming up in the near future. In the recent past with the Nine of Cups, I feel like this is a connection where, again, I mean, this there was a point in time where things felt really pleasant. Things felt just very um, fulfilling in some way, or you. this is a wish that you both had. But I feel like you are the one who might be um, changing your mind or just not really sure if if you want to move ahead. And it could be that it's because the other person maybe is holding back communication. I'm mostly seeing this as being you though. Um, with the Eight of Wands being in the near future, that's like I said, definitely some kind of communication or movement forward. And I feel like with the High Priestess being in the potential outcome, we're gonna clarify and see what that's about. But I feel like somebody is definitely following their intuition here. So let's clarify. So, for the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups, let's see. All 
All right, so we got the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Hierophant. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely a lot of back and forth. I feel like somebody is really contemplating here um, when it comes to wanting to, again, to express how they feel. Um, I feel like this is, this is, there's a situation here where there's, there's a commitment that's involved, um, a high level commitment. So it could be a marriage for some of you, it could be with this person, it could be a separate situation, but there's definitely a lot of pain involved. All right. So if it's just you and this person, um, somebody's heart was broken here and this could be why there is this hesitation to express the emotions. Um, a lot of contemplating, a lot of contemplating. Again, I feel like this is you, but of course, you know, feel free to take it as it resonates. So I'm just gonna um, go about this as if it is you. If this is you, there's a situation here, um, either with this person or with somebody else where there is a lot of pain and and it could even be two separate things. You might be involved in a situation, but then have pain concerning um, another situation. But because of this, and I feel like it is a little bit complicated for most of you, there's a lot of back and forth, not knowing if you can even handle as much um, as is on your plate right now. It feels like there's a lot of overwhelming feelings. And for that reason, you're just kind of like, all right, you know, well, since I'm feeling this way, I'm just not going to do anything. So let's actually clarify that two of swords. All right, so yeah, we have the five of pentacles, the four of cups, the queen of swords, and we also got the nine of pentacles. So it feels like, yeah, you, when it comes to being um, independent, self-reliant, um, feeling good about your own self, I feel like that is what is the challenge for you at the moment. There's a situation here that you might feel like you are having a hard time um, distancing yourself from. And it's a situation that you're not feeling very happy in. I, I get that you're feeling very alone, actually, with that Five of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Um, and it, it's, it's coming through as you wanting to be like this Queen of Swords here and really either setting some boundaries, distancing yourself, being able to just, you know, cut something loose. Or possibly for some of you even, you know, making a decision here. And it's proving to be a little bit difficult. Again, it just feels like it's overwhelming. Like there could be that there's just a lot going on for you at the moment. And I feel like whatever is going on with this particular person here where there is a lot of love, it's just like one extra thing among a whole bunch of other stuff that is going on for you right now. And because of that, you're having a hard time feeling like you can really um, just stand on your feet and just, you know, get your life under control and put things in order. For some of you, this could even be um, related to finances. I know this is a love reading, but sometimes finances can also play a role. And I feel like that might just, everything is intertwined. So that might also be affecting you and influencing you and just an, an extra um, load. It's just an extra load on you. And that's just kind of adding to that barrier. But we do also have the Queen of Wands. So let me clarify that because I do see you actually moving through this. It, it might be overwhelming, it might be difficult, but I see you actually finding your confidence here. Okay, so clarifying the Queen of Wands, we have the Five of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Two of Cups. 
All right, yeah. When it comes to a situation that may have been um, deceitful or maybe you felt like you were deceived or maybe you were the one that was actually going against what you want and you were the one that may have been um, deceitful. But there's a situation here where I feel like there was some kind of a deception or maybe you even sabotaged it and this is what you are finally finding some courage to actually face. All right, and I feel like this is something from the past here with the Six of Cups. And it was definitely concerning a connection that you feel a lot of love towards and you're, you still have feelings for this. And that's actually the same situation here with the Ace of Cups. Because again, I feel like for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, there might be another situation here as well. Another connection. So for some of you, it's two separate connections and for others of you, it's just one. But there's definitely one here that you do have a lot of emotions for. And like I said, I feel like it goes both ways. So yeah, you're definitely finding your courage and some assertiveness to face this, whatever that deception or sabotage was. All right, let's see what's going on with the other person here. So Seven of Pentacles. the world, the king of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, and the nine of wands. All right, so getting quite a bit here. This is why I feel like this, this situation that I'm tapping into here is a little bit complicated. We're getting like so much. Yeah, so this person is definitely wanting a commitment with you, right? Both the king of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. Some of you might be dealing um, with another earth sign possibly, um, or just somebody who is very, somebody who wants commitment, somebody who, or who is financially stable as well. Um, fire sign showing up as well, water signs, so it could be any sign. But yeah, this person definitely wants some kind of a commitment with you. I feel like they are willing to put in to put in the effort but they're seeing this as a challenge as well i feel like they're going through their own um difficulty here but mostly because they feel like this is done they feel like something has ended here or they feel like something is going something is definitely different it's almost like you know a cycle has closed out or a chapter has ended in this connection and because of that that's actually feeling like it's very challenging to them however this person is not this person has not given up on hope this person is still waiting and actually trying to manifest you let's clarify the magician Hey, we keep getting so many cards. <laughs> All right, the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, um, we are getting quite a few Pentacles here, okay, which is your, your element, but they keep showing up in your person's energy. So if your person is not a um, earth sign, you are definitely on their mind a lot. This person is definitely trying to manifest you trying to give again with six of pentacles they're putting energy into this the page of pentacles this is somebody who wants to provide it to you but they're just they're putting in a lot of effort eight of pentacles they're very confused as to how to go about it so i feel like it could be that this person the way that they're going about um putting in this effort it might not actually be bringing um the best results but again, I feel like it's because this door seems to be closed and I feel like it's on your end. So it's like you might be blocking that out. This person's trying to manifest. They're confused. They don't know how. They're trying in various ways. And again, it's, I feel like it's almost not working because it's actually up to you to open that door and allow that energy to actually manifest. Let's see the Eight of Wands for the near future because that actually looks pretty promising. All 
All right, and we have the Six of Wands. Wow, okay, finally, something simple. <laughs> All right, Taurus. So yeah, there's definitely some kind of action that is happening um, in the near future, which is actually going to lead to a sense of accomplishment. So it could be something very, very small. It could be something very, very big. All right. It's going to be different for each of you, but there's definitely some kind of a movement that is coming up. It's going to feel like an accomplishment. I mostly get the sense that this is going to be on your end. Um, and that you might actually feel very proud of yourself for whatever whatever that action is, all right? Whatever, whatever it is that you're feeling like you need to do, whatever it is that your intuition is guiding you towards, and that having that, the High Priestess, as the potential outcome here, I do see you following your, following your intuition. So whatever this action is, it will be based on your intuition. Okay, so take that as encouragement to, to follow that. Follow that guidance that you're feeling. And again, I'm just going to say it one more time, the roles can be reversed. Okay, so clarifying the High Priestess, we have the Queen of Wands showing up again and the Moon. So this is all about, yeah, it's all about trusting, okay, with the Moon being here. There's still some hesitation on your end. Your intuition is there. You have, you have the assertiveness, you have the confidence. It's just about trusting your intuition, not having that hesitation to follow it, okay? And to move in the direction that you're feeling guided to. Maybe, you know, for some of you, a barrier could be there for a reason. Um, if, if you feel like you're supposed to keep that door closed, keep that door closed. But if you're feeling like you want to express yourself here, you know, then do so, or just crack open the door to allow also whatever energy wants to come in and then you can make a decision following that. So, of course, if this resonated, let's see what your final message is. And we actually got two. We have higher power. That's definitely the divine communicating with you. You being able to tap into source energy, following your intuition. And then we have yang, which is all about you having control over a situation, taking control. It's all in your hands. You have more power than you think. Yang is also about taking action. It's also um, strong masculine energy. So... Yeah, take that as it resonates. So Taurus, thank you so much for watching. Much love.